Our mineral powder foundation has amazing ingredients like calendula and lantoin to aid in healing the skin. We have had customers tell us that they have seen age spots fade and they felt it has helped heal numerous skin conditions. It contains natural anti-inflammatories and oxides that provide a natural SPF. Based on the percentage of zinc and titanium dioxides it contains, you should be getting approximately 10 to 15 SPF with each layer. It's natural. I like that it doesn't have the chemicals in it and, and stuff like that. I like the colors too. I think the colors matched me good. And I like that it lasts a long time. But I am an outside person that I run the tractors and stuff, but I'm outside all the time and it still holds its shape and its color good. You know, it's not gone by the end of the day, it's still there type of thing, in spite of what I do. It's not as heavy on my face. I think it looks smoother. All of our foundations and veils come with a handy little rotating sifter so that you can open it when you're ready to use your makeup. Just pour a little out in the lid. When you're finished, it clicks shut, stays in place, so you can drop it in your purse without making a mess. To apply your mineral makeup, turn the sifter to open, tap a few of the minerals into the lid. You want to use a soft, dense brush like our Goat's Hair Kabuki to apply the mineral makeup. Dab your brush into your lid, then turn your brush over and tap it on the tabletop. This keeps the minerals in your brush and on your face and not all over your countertop. Next, you want to start applying the mineral makeup in the center of your face, working in a circular motion, and buff the minerals into the skin. The key to applying mineral makeup actually lies in the buffing. You don't brush it on, you buff the minerals into your skin. It blends into your skin so perfectly that it creates the illusion of a flawless radiant complexion. It doesn't fade away easy and it doesn't come off easy like if you sweat it's still on there and it hides your blemishes really good. To match your mineral foundation first you need to look at your skin tone. If you're warm you have more yellow undertones. If you're cool you have more pink undertones. Then you want to apply a little of the makeup right along your jawline. When it blends in naturally, you know that you've got the right shade.